So let's get started talking about treatments of atopic dermatitis. Contributing factors. Well, we want to keep these children out of things that irritate their skin. Number one is soap. So when you bathe, you want to use a soap substitute. And we'll give you some examples in a minute. Avoid wool. We want to go with cotton clothing. Wool tends to be itchy to children with eczema. Dry skin makes it worse. So we want to keep their barrier intact. So number one, a mild soap when you bathe so you don't strip away the barrier. And number two, enhance the barrier oils by applying a thick cream or an ointment. Avoid emotional upsets if possible. Uh, emotional upsets lead to flushing, which then increases itching. The more they scratch, the more they rash. It's referred to as the itch that rashes, and so trying to limit scratching is important. Other irritants, fragrance, dust, animal hair, animal dander, uh, cigarette smoke, all of these things can lead to flare-ups. And studies have shown that diet doesn't seem to play uh, much of a role in atopic dermatitis. Now certainly, children with atopic dermatitis will have an increased risk of food allergy to some degree. So a soap substitute. So this is uh, a, a very gentle cleanser. It's not going to leave the skin feeling squeaky clean, but that's a good thing. When the skin is left squeaky clean, that means you've stripped away just about all of the protective oils. And we want to use what we call bland emollients. And Cetaphil is a company that makes gentle soaps as well as gentle unscented creams. So repair the barrier. On the left you can see lotion. It's the least protective. It's mostly water. Cream is in the middle, a little thicker preparation, and then you have ointment such as petroleum jelly, like Vaseline petroleum jelly. The thicker, the greasier, the more protective uh, it will be for this child's barrier. Again, some more examples. CeraVe or CeraVe uh, is a soap substitute, and they also have a thick cream that's very nice for children with eczema. Vanna cream is another example. Aquaphor uh, makes a healing ointment that's very nice, and they also have a soap substitute now that would be acceptable. Vaseline petroleum jelly, inexpensive and a very good moisturizer, especially when these things are applied to damp skin. So when you get your baby out of the tub, uh, pat them dry, and while they're a little damp, apply a greasy ointment like Vaseline jelly or Aquaphor, or if they have milder eczema, a cream base would be acceptable. Decrease the scratching by using oral antihistamines like Benadryl is an over-the-counter example, or topical cortisones. Uh, Cordaid is an over-the-counter example. Certainly, we have many prescription strength uh, uh, oral antihistamines as well as topical medications that can be beneficial. There's a 1% hydrocortisone. Again, the ointment will be less uh, 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 prone to burn the skin as well. So treatment of atopic dermatitis, avoid irritants. We talked about that, control the dry skin. So while they're damp, a lukewarm bath, while they're damp, get them greasy. Vaseline jelly, uh, aquaphor, or one of the creams such as Cetaphil or CeraVe or Eucerin. Apply the topical cortisone to the rash twice a day and control the scratching with oral antihistamines. For resistant disease, you want to see your dermatologist for other treatment options and you want to treat early. Too often, people wait for the eczema to become more severe before they treat it, and then it's much more difficult to control. A dilute bleach bath is helpful to decrease the staphylococcus uh, carrier state. Again, as we mentioned in a previous video, most children with atopic dermatitis carry staphylococcus on their skin, and so these very dilute bleach baths can be helpful. More bleach is not better. Keep it to a quarter cup for a full bath, and beware of contact with uh, uh, people having cold sores or fever blisters as this